Hi everyone, I'm back. This will be the first episode in my appreciation and gratitude series of people that I've met through my life. Unknown to the unknown, to the known. And some people I haven't met, but they have been very important for my evolvement through life had a big impact on me in some ways so this is going to be a short video I will keep it under five minutes I hope so today's video is actually to my parents uh, they are on the other side right now up there in the sky in the air in the trees in the animals watching me I can't express how much love I feel for my parents because they brought me into this life. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't chosen this body. I would chose another body. And it's very hard to me to express every single emotion I have more than unconditional love joy sorrow gratitude yeah I've been thinking about my parents a lot lately because I'm going through memory lane right now in my processing of the old and the new that's coming in. I posted two parts of my life story. I will do part three and four later on when the time is right. Uh, where I explain that uh, I'm a divorce divorce child together with my older brother Kenneth and I can't talk for his experience in his upbringing because he has another ice memory another life so I can't speak for him but I will speak about him in the next video and in this late moment in my life I'm just turning 50 going to 51 When I look back at my life with my mom as the only parent around, I now can appreciate how much she, she sacrificed to get food on the table, clothes on our backs, uh, roof our, over our heads, everything she sacrificed for us kids and for that I'm eternally gratitude I'm so fucking blown away mom you are no you are the strongest person I ever met actually you survived three cancer operations big ones kept going you didn't stop smoking kept going then one day reality hits you in the face like a big slap from the big show in wrestling you know and you were diagnosed with a chronic lung disorder in Sweden we call it 
K O L with big letters. And seeing you floating further and further away from life. That was a painful experience, Mom. But I thank you for it because without pain you can't grow that much, I know. It's very hard to speak about it because there's still a lot of releasing of sorrow inside because I miss my physical mom and dad right here. And dad, I haven't spent a lot of time with you as I did with mom, but the three last months in your life was one of the best three months in my life. Getting to know you. And uh, you were not a, such a rotten apple after all because you had your kind of morale and honor in your lifestyle that I didn't know about until after you were gone. And I salute you, Dad. So I really hope we can hug each other up there now. Because I miss you both terribly much. Ah. And I want to show you another thing. I Before I sat on this stone in front of the Princess Oak here was this glittering stone. I don't know how much you can see from it, but it was a sign from you guys. Mom and Dad, Mom and Pop. Hey Pops! Thank you, thank you, thank you.